I do a make a ride. I'm gonna set the club. Baby. What's going on, the YouTube? Uh, thanks for tuning in the channel. Watch another video here on 54 and more. If you haven't already done so, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, you know it. Same old, same old. But in today's episode of building the E36, just found out that my power steering pump is leaking, so I'm probably gonna need a new power steering pump because I just got power steering back in the car. Um, I am going to be changing the thermostat housing. Actually, I'll just show you guys the parts that I got. Uh, some stoppers, struts, uh, gasket. They forgot to send me a gasket, so I had to buy a separate one. Uh, thermostat housing and thermostat. Um, I remember I said I was going to get a new bumper, but however, as of right now, I'm just going to make this bumper work. I'm going to get rid of this one because this one is broken right here. And then I'm going to fix that side over there and I'm going to make this bumper work and it's going to fit for now until I uh, get that done. Oh yeah, what else do I got in here? Ah, these. Some clips for the windows because they keep popping out of the uh, the grooves or whatever. So, got a couple of things to do today. As always, gonna be working on this car. Um, about to drain this coolant. Uh, get to the uh, pump, not pump, thermostat housing real quick. Um, and then, We'll see what else we get to. Might go to the junkyard today, so uh, let's get to it. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I may be doing a video on uh, headlight restoration. I got this kit. Um, I wanted to do it like perfect and everything with the whole sanding and everything, compound. But they didn't have that stuff and it was going to run me like $50, $60 for all that stuff. And I'm only doing two headlights. So this is how these headlights are looking. And I'm going to try to restore them a bit instead of taking them to somebody to do it. I'm going to do it myself. Might as well have some content. Let's get it.
so we got the thermostat housing and thermostat in uh, refill the coolant and everything like that um, and also we got the clips in here for the uh, windows I had to put a lot of grease in there to make sure they slide properly but yeah so now it is time to deal with these struts so let's do that now and then the bumper okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this nut here since I don't have a uh, what you gonna call it uh, impact wrench move it on both sides and once I remove that nut I'm gonna remove these and then just drop the whole thing down and pop it out and probably adjust the springs while I'm down there so uh, I'll be right back so this is what you call bad struts this one right here has taken almost like two minutes just to get to this area that one's a little faster but anyway we're gonna change these out swap the tops you know let's get to them so these struts here these strut uh, towers are a little different and some of the pieces are missing so I'm gonna run to the junkyard and go grab two to see if I can uh, and also if I can find the boots for these so uh, time to make that dreaded junkyard run Okay, so as far as the uh, junkyard run that I needed to go to went um, and what I went there for, I came out with a haul. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this is what I got. I got the two washers for the uh, 18 bolt at the bottom of the strut, two strut mounts, uh, the washers and everything for the actual strut itself. Uh, a couple of nuts, I didn't really need them, but I grabbed them anyway. Um, Let's see, the bottom is for the springs because there's no bottoms on them right now. And then the main thing I went for, two boots. So I got everything I need to install the full strut. So uh, let me go ahead and put it all together. Okay, so as you can see how much I'm sweating. If anybody that ever worked at Parts Geeks watches this, I am highly disappointed. Like every single time I order something, I'm not getting my parts. I'm not getting what I need. This nut right here is the one I'm supposed to use. They sent me one with two struts. Had to fight to get this one on for almost 20, 30 minutes because I don't have an impact gun. Okay, so both struts after my fight uh, are put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those. I'm also gonna install these pads right here too. Um, and then raise up the coils a little more, uh, obviously with these. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll get to the bumper. Okay, so these struts really made a difference. Look at how high that is now. That is super high, super clearance. I'm going to leave it like this until I wear these tires down and I get some smaller tires. And then I'll drop the car back down on it, but I'm going to leave it just like that because I don't need no rubbing. So let me go ahead and start working on this bumper. Okay, well here is the situation with this bumper. This right here is cracked, so I'm going to repair this. Uh, right here, repair all this area. If you can see it properly. Yeah, like this area right here, repair this. Um, I need to put these on. And here, here, and here. And then I need to cut off this area since the bumper is already cut right there. And then I gotta make that work. And then on this side, this one is broken, so I'm gonna remove this one too and fix that one. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of that because I've already done a bumper repair uh, video. So let me go ahead and knock this out and I'll show you guys the stages of it. Okay, so I've got the outside and the inside lined up and sanded down so I can now apply the plastic weld. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, that's about how it's gonna look. I'll sand it down and spray paint it in a little bit, but um, oh, that's decent, pretty decent, not bad. So I also did one of these already, so it's in there. And now I'm gonna do the last one and then try to put the bumper on or just leave it off for now. 
All right, so this one side is done. Welded this in there, plastic welded that in there. The same thing over here, plastic welded these. Bumpers, plastic welded on the inside right there. And then I actually hit it with a little bit of spray, but I'll sand it down and this will get all painted, maybe, or just wrapped. So I'm gonna put on the bumper now and try to line this up. Maybe I have to cut off that piece too. All right, so the bumper is done. Uh, I'll show you, go ahead and show you guys how it looks. I also raised the uh, front of the car, so it's barely rubbing. It rubs when you like turn, when you're going around the corner or whatever. But other than that, I probably could raise it up just a little bit more until I like rub these wheels down and then I'll be able to put some uh, different tires, some smaller tires on this. So, show you how it looks. Alright, so uh, I'm done now. Uh, fix the bumper. Put the window clips in, windows are still acting weird. Uh, put the struts in, raised up the back a whole lot. Cars really come together, has a few coolant leaks, of course. Uh, not the thermostat housing, since I just changed that. Uh, gotta change a couple more seals and everything, but it's good for right now. So that is gonna be the end of this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.